competition is Gail Kuchura, tied for second in the overall standings during the all-around competition where she finished fourth just out of the medals. And watch her tumbling because she's a very powerful gymnast. Double laid out backflip. Very well done. It's very difficult. Full twisting double back. Not sure, yeah, it looks like she did step out. It's tenth for each foot out. It looks like she had one foot out. is very impressed. Still mounted with a very difficult double layout salto. Full twisting double back is a second pass. Very difficult. Gail trains two hours in the morning, four and a half hours in the afternoon. Here's that middle tumbling run front layout right into a front layout with a half twist. Four and a half hours. Six and a half hours. Not really difficult, but again, they're encouraging the front tumbling kind of break up the monotony of seeing the same passes over and over again. Here's that triple twisting laid out backflip. She gets it all the way around. Sometimes you'll see them just sneak maybe two and three quarters, but that's a true triple twist. A Gail who tied for a bronze medal in the balance beam competition awaiting her score in the floor exercise. Our next competitor up in your exercise. Something you don't often hear, encouraging athletes, athletes encouraging each other. 9.675, now the score to beat. Alexis Breon. Her floor exercise was the best routine when she earned a 9.85 during the all-around. And she is a crowd favorite. You watch, she has a, a lot of presence for such a young age. She's very graceful. And really shows a lot of maturity in her movements. There's a double twisting cat leap. Watch this, double laid out backflip. Beautifully done. took a lot of people by surprise during the all-around as she finished 14th overall, but as I said, her floor was the best score of the day. There's a full and back out in a pike position, making it more difficult by straightening her legs. This event, to me, epitomizes what gymnastics is all about. It's power and grace combined. It's such a unique combination. This is why it's called artistic gymnastics. Setting up for her last tumbling run. You actually, you're very tired at the end of the run. Whip right through. Triple twist. Great job. So tired at the end of her performance. That's very difficult. Alexis Brion from Virginia Beach, Virginia. The theatrical finish from the youngster who admires Mary Lou Retton as a role model. 12-year-old Alexis mounted with a double layout somersault. Her second pass was the full-length somersault. 
and it was in the plank position as well as the triple twisty dismount. Here's that whip through. Now watch her, she'll twist three times in the air before she lands. Increasing the difficulty by doing it at the, at the end of a routine. Here's another angle, there's a whip. It's actually like a back handspring with no hands. Look at her arms reach. Score She'll twist Alexis three Brito, times. 9.85. Her official score, 9.85. That ties the performance she earned in the all around, which was better than anyone else here in the festival. That may hold up for gold. Once again, Vanessa Adler, we've seen her throughout this competition. Bronze medalist in the all around. 13 years of age. Very poised. Full twisting double back. event where the athletes have a chance to show their personalities, all kinds of different choreography. There's a triple twist. She doesn't slow down for a minute. <laughs> There's her last run. Front with a full twist, immediate punch front. Well, coach seems happy, and so does Vanessa. Tied for the gold in the balance beam moments ago. Awaiting a score. The 12-year-old who preceded her, Alexis Brion, is our current leader with a 9.85. And the official score, 9.7. That puts her in second place halfway through the rotation on floor. We'll be back with more. But first, let's go to Barry Tompkins in the studio. of Colorado in Boulder. More gymnastics competition upcoming. Let's get there right now. John Neighbor and Julianne McNamara. And the music just beginning now for Heather Brink on floor exercise. Her 9.825 on this event during the all-around. Watch the height she gets. Full twisting, double back. So one and a half twisting front. Called a Rudy right into a laid out step out back. The trend in the dance department's really gone towards more of a jazzier style. You don't really see as much of the traditional balletic type of performances. The front with a full twist. Her last tumbling run, two and a half twists, a half short of a triple. Very well done. Hello, great. 
You can tell there's some fatigue setting in toward the end of that routine. Definitely is. Here's that front tumbling run. That's called a Rudy. She does one and a half twists. She goes right into a laid out backflip, steps out of it. Please report to the staging area. Watch her, watch her land this two and a half twist. It actually is more difficult to land than a triple twist. You can see her momentum is moving forward in the landing. She does a nice job. Not much you can do at this point, but sit and wait for the judges to reach their decision. Heather already earned three medals in this Olympic festival, a silver in the all around, a gold in the vault, and a tie for bronze on the uneven bars. And was one fall off the beam away from winning another gold medal. It's always a good feeling when the competition's over. You train so hard and you're so keyed up and a lot of pressure on these athletes. 9.55. The official mark for Heather Brink and that puts her in fourth place. Heather, representing the West from Cypress Academy in Houston, Texas, Rachel Richelli. Rachel Richelli. His 9.675 performance during the all-around on floor. Would tie her for third right now. 17 years of age out of Houston, Texas, but not every gymnast in Houston trains with Bella Caroli. She represents Cypress Academy. It's a punch front right into a two and a half twist, immediate punch front. Didn't have the momentum going and that'll be a big deduction. where the problem came here. It's actually a really difficult tumbling sequence that she performs. Two and a half twists, right into immediate punch front. She just didn't have the height and the rotation to make it around. Here she performs a triple twist. Doesn't quite get it around. You can see there she lands about two and three quarters and has to pull it around. Well, Rachel, who wears those lucky diamond earrings, will not find great success in the floor exercise. Come on, Chris, you find it. She studied ballet until at age five she said, Mom, I hate it. Let's find something else. And gymnastics was what it was. 9.05, the official score for Rachel. Christy Leachy. Our final competitor, Christy Leachy. We saw her sister earlier on the vault. She's a strong tumbler. She'll start off with that very difficult laid out double back.
interesting double back. Christie, 15 years of age out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now trains under Mary Lee Tracy, who's produced some great gymnasts like Amanda Borden. She shows great power, great difficulty. He's a little more maturity in her dance movement, but a lot of that comes from competing and age. There's two laid out fronts in a row. Christy states her favorite event is the floor exercise. So it's no surprise she qualified to compete in the uh, event final here. Look how fast she's running. She's got to get a lot of height in that air to get her body around in a straight position. Almost looks like she gets higher on the second flip. We will be in as soon as we get our award stand out here. I do have the final standings with me on the first and This is called a full in because you do a full twist on the first flip and a straight tuck on the second. These are bounding fronts, consecutive front flips in a laid out position. Again, I talked about the front tumbling earlier, not as difficult as some of the other passes you see, but something different. And the score for Christy Licci, a 9.7, and that's good enough to tie for silver medal. Behind Alexis Brion, the 12-year-old, the youngest gal in the competition, wins the gold medal on the final event. So Alexis Brian with the gold, silvers to Vanessa Adler and Christy Licci. We'll be back with award ceremonies after this brief break. Welcome back at Colorado University's Event Center for the presentation of awards. Standing atop the award stand now, 12-year-old Alexis Brion, winner in the floor exercise. Congratulations also due to Heather Brink, Carrie Strug, Vanessa Adler, and Melinda Bainbridge for their individual event gold medals. And Julianne, we said at the top of the program we might not be watching the 1996 Olympians, but we certainly should have seen what may become the year 2000 Olympic team. Well, we saw a great, bright future for the United States with an array of the top junior gymnasts in the country. But let's not forget Carrie Strug. She's a sure contender for the 96 team in Atlanta. Special performance by the 13 and 12-year-olds who won gold medals today, showing a lot of poise in difficult circumstances. Well, they sure came through with some incredible performances, great level of difficulty, and like you said, John, the level of maturity and poise for such a young age, that's something you can't teach. Bodes well for the future of USA Gymnastics on behalf of my partner, Julianne McNamara. I'm John Neighbor saying thanks for joining us here in Boulder for Women's Gymnastics. We return you now to Barry Tompkins in our studio. All right, thanks a lot, John and Julianne. Great job at gymnastics. Maybe we really did see the future. Speaking of youngsters, we saw some in gymnastics. We've had one, of course, uh, working with us for the entire run of this Olympic.